Um, hey guys, so it's been a while since I've done a guide actually. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm KT Soju and hopefully this has some weight. I've basically been top 10 uh, since the game came out um, from set one to set four. I'm going to be doing a uh, item tier list and item guide where I'm going to walk through all of the champions. Well, first I'm gonna show a tier list and then I'm gonna walk through all of the champions and give you the best in slot or some uh, item combinations for each champion and when to play those champions um, throughout different stages of the game. Um, I'm not gonna go in detail to um, the importance of counting items, uh, which items are better to slam, blockers and all that stuff. You guys can find that in my other item guide. It's gonna be, it was like 20 minutes long or something. And it does really go in detail about blockers, counting items, all that stuff. So do check that out. I'll probably link it in the description. So here, let me start off the tier list. These are going to be, um, I'll walk through all the items. Uh, Fawn, if you have double spatula, don't even think about making like the potential of like two spatula items. You're slamming Fawn 100% of the time. The ability to put an extra unit in a meta that's as balanced as it is right now is way too broken. Um, the reason Hodge is so strong is because you get to use one of your tiers. And also Glove isn't actually that valuable. Um, the only amazing glove item that you can make is IE and even IE is only amazing on Talon. Um, so Hodge, if you get tier glove, you are, I am almost always slamming tier glove almost hundred percent of the time. Morello it's, uh, Dazzler right now is really strong and, uh, Morello Morgana makes Morgana the worst unit in the game to the best unit in the game. Um, GA is one of those items that have infinite uh, infinite holders early to mid game, so it saves you a lot of HP. And not only that, um, a carry such as Talon is never going to be bad with GA, and even Ash. Um, I think Ash is starting to get GA to be best in slot, especially since Talon is in meta. Um, IE, best Talon item for sure, and not only that, decent early mid game, not as good as some of the other items, um, but it's also pretty okay on Jin, and it's also um, pretty good on Ash as well. Um, ZZ Rot, one of the best early game items, uses a uh, bow and belt, which are probably the two worst components, given that you already have a Morello. So if you have like a Morello, belt is suddenly, you're just looking to make ZZ Rot. Um, ZZ Rot early game, if you put it on a two star front line, um, it's just an extra unit. It has a lot of AD and it's also a lot of HP. But then late game, you can also, also position your ZZ Rot second row or third row, whichever way you look at it. If you count from like top bottom, ZZ Rot is actually going to be able to protect your carries from talent. So for example, if you're playing a comp and you have Ash bottom right, and they have a talon that is trying to jump on your ash what you can do it's usually um you won't like let's say you're running sejuani thresh um you usually don't really want to put on sejuani because sejuani almost always wants to have the solo front line so like let's say you're just running thresh right um you would just you can just like put it right here and you give him a zerat talon is going to jump here and instead of attacking ash it'll attack thresh and not only after it kills thresh which is hard to kill because it's vanguard trait um the zz rot again will taunt and your ash is safe and it's, it's a way to get um, not only that, um, let me since we're already on it, let me just walk through the Azir positioning because um, I'll probably mention it later. I'm, imagine Elise's Azir soldiers. Um, sometimes you can you can hug your frontline right side and then like let's say you're running Ezreal Morgana or something. You can actually make it so the Talon can never jump on your Ash, which is like the same thing. That's why Azir is so strong. But I will get back. I'll get into that later. Let me go back to the tier list. Uh, Bramble is the best item holders are probably going to be Shen or Riven. And it basically just um, is a really strong item in the meta because a lot of people are slimming, um, i.e. it does help you be more tanky towards Ash. Also, a Bramble Shen against Talon is never going to die. A Bramble Riven against Talon is rarely ever going to die. Uh, Zeke's early game, it's basically if you're starting BF Sword. Um, BF Sword is one of those items that you you basically need one of the best in slot BF Sword items. If your carry is like Ash, I wouldn't mind like GAGS. If your carry is Talon, you need like GAIE. But if you start the game with BF Sword and you're looking, again, this is going to be blockers and please check out the other video um, if you're looking for advanced item tips. You can you can slam Zeke's just because Zeke's is one of the, the best early to mid game items in the game. Uh, the meta is kind of just play strongest early game board and then transfer the items on 4-1. And not only that, I wouldn't even mind Zeke's Ash, Zeke's Talon, etc. It still gives them a little bit of HP, gives them an extra AD. And Ash and Talon have the most insane AD scaling. Um, so that's why I put Zeke's S tier still. Um, TG, using two gloves to make a TG makes it hard to build items such as um, basically just IE. The reason TG is, is so high in A tier now, when before it was like lower A tier, is because QSS and Trapclaw are a lot worse. Um, TG, as you can guess, it, you can put it on any unit you want. You can put it on Shen, Cassiopeia, Aurelia, um, even Lux. I wouldn't recommend Lux because it's backline. You usually want it on a more frontline champion because it does give you 20% dodge. But you generally want a champions that can use HP, AD, AP, etc., etc. 
Um, Giant Slayer is also going to be really strong. It, it's really good on uh, Talon and Ash, so that's why Ginsu is fine on Ash. Um, it's it's really strong early mid, and uh, it's really good on Kindred. Chalice is one of these items that's really strong early game, but really does start to fall off late game unless you can find like a Kane or an Ezreal to carry. Blue buff is going to be um, pretty okay early game. It uses uh, tier, and tier is not that important. So best item holders is probably like Lissandra, um, Akali, Kindred, stuff like that. Shroud, um, Shroud's actually a really good item. Um, it's not slammed that often, just because I think people are lazy. It's just that early game Shroud's worthless, but late game Shroud is is broken. It's an A tier, but early game Shroud is not that good. Uh, Rabadons, it, it's the item is actually really good. It's just that you you usually want to save your one of your rods for Morello. And Deathblade again is really good as well. It's the same problem with Rabadons. Usually you want to save one of your BS swords for like GS, GA, or IE. Um, Locket is really strong early game. The only reason that it's B tier is because using a chain that can make GA and you using a rod that can make Morello. Um, Ionic Spark is the same thing. It's pretty strong early game, except you're using the Morello component. Sunfire is one of those items that um, it, it's pretty good early game. As the game goes later and later, it straight up does nothing. Um, it just does absolutely nothing for your team. Chain can be GA, Giant can be ZZ Rot. It's not as bad as these, but the item is definitely worse in this late game. Uh, Declaw is the only reason it's not F tier. It's because if you have double cloak, cloak is probably the worst item in the game. The only item that uses cloak right now is basically Chalice of Power. So if you get double cloak, I'm almost always just slamming it on the front line. Uh, Ludens is actually going to be the best item in the game if you're playing Nami. Uh, but aside from Nami, it's also good on Chosen Pike. It's good on uh, Jinx as well. Last Whisper is okay on Ash. It's okay on Jin. It's not that good on Talon. Um, there's not really Vanguard's in meta. Um, so you don't really need to pair it with it for IE. Uh, Zephyr, uh, you're using Belt that can make ZZ Rot or Morello. And then uh, early game, it doesn't really change the fight. But it's pretty good late game. It's one of the best late game items. Redemption is the same thing. Um, it's actually like it uses a tier Belt, which are two really bad components. But again, Belt can make Morello and ZZ Rot. And as you can see, it just goes worse and worse and worse. But I did want to touch on some items, such as Jeweled Gauntlet. So Jeweled Gauntlet is one of those weird items where early game Jeweled Gauntlet is actually pretty good. The, the only issue is late game. There's not many holders for Jeweled Gauntlet, um, unless you're playing like Dusk Cane, but that's one comp. And usually in the meta, it's it's the the more rare fast eight comp is going to be Dusk. And a lot of times you just have this Jeweled Gauntlet and it's super awkward. You don't really know how to use it. Shoujin is the same thing. It's just really good for Jinx and only Jinx. There's no other holder. Uh, or not not Jinx, but like Sharpshooters in general. Runan, same thing. It's Zed. Um, I'm not saying these items are like F tier, but... Uh, they're only good on certain units. Shiv is only good on Warwick. It's also a really weird slam if you start the game with Bow. I'm down to just slam Shiv. Sometimes if the other two items that you get are bad. Titans is pretty good on like Set. It's okay on Riven. Um, stuff like that. But you would almost never slam this early to mid game. Like these these items are like really specific. BT, same thing. It's it's trash early mid game. But it, it's pretty good on Ash, I would say. It's okay on Talon. I think Hodge is 20 times better. Frozen Heart, this item is, <laughs> dude, this item is so bad. Uh, Gunblade, it's the same thing. It's like only good on Katarina. Like maybe Vagar, I guess. Uh, RC, it's good on like Kalista. It's good on Kane, but early game, it doesn't change the fight at all. And also Warmogs, this item just sucks. It's good on Yone though, I guess. But early game, you are never. If you if anyone ever slams a Warmogs, if I'm trying to coach someone and they slam Warmogs, I'm out of there. I'm not even gonna bother. It's actually a grief. Because you're using you're using one of the belts for Morello and one of the belts for ZZ Rot. Now that I have the tier list, again, item slamming, I, I stress it. Just check out the video. It's actually good content. I'm not trying to like sell out or anything. I'm not going too in depth. But anyway, I'm gonna move on to the champions before I do. I'm going to be releasing a tier list. Um, so to give you guys a sneak peek, here it is. Uh, Talon is S, Ash. This is going to be my tier list. And again, please, um, I know I say it in some of my videos. If this content is helpful, uh, it means a lot. If you guys could just sub, it literally takes you two seconds and it helps a lot. And also, um, I, I am trying to come out with some content like this um, other than just gameplay videos. By the way, before I start this, let me just say, early game, you are almost always choosing your first chosen. I will be talking about every chosen possibility and whether or not you buy it early game and the exceptions as uh, much as possible. I'm going to go ahead and start with uh, Diana. Uh, Sin Diana actually isn't that good early game. I think there's a lot better options. I wouldn't even, sometimes I wouldn't even mind skipping Sin Diana. Um, but if you can like somehow like pair it with Force in early game, it's not bad. But Sin Diana is okay if you have a frontline established, such as uh, Brawler 2-star frontline or um, 
Vanguard to start front line. Otherwise, Moonlight Diana is almost a guaranteed first. I think best in slot is going to be Titans, QSS, Gunblade, but also Bramble Declaw Gunblade is good as well. Honestly, don't worry too much about best in slot. A anything actually works. So like throughout this video, I'm going to give you the best in slot, but also like don't be scared to slam according to the tempo of the game. So if it's going to save you a lot of HP or it gives you a massive power spike, don't greed your items. Like especially if you don't have two of the components of the best in slot, just slam the the suboptimal items, but they're also really good because the units are going to be good. So like some some of those items would be like IE, Jeweled Gauntlet, stuff like that. Um, I don't know if there's like, even GS seems okay. I was thinking about Hodge is okay. Um, Cultist Elise is really good. Keep Elise is trash. Don't pick up Keep Elise. But Cultist Elise is really strong. I wouldn't really itemize her. Um, you probably itemize her with tank items though. Uh, Fiora, okay, the problem with Chosen Fiora is that early game, um, if you have like Enlightened Opener, I'm down to play it. Oh, I also have a chosen guide that where I talk about like how to pick up chosens, but I, I think this guide is probably going to be more updated. But anyway, um, the problem with Fiora is that you it's actually a really strong stage two, but as soon as you go into stage three, the Fiora does absolutely nothing for your team, and you you basically just bleed out a lot on uh, stage three. Um, Garen is going to be really strong. Just make sure when you when you do run Garen chosen, just solo frontline it. A lot of times they they wrap around him and he gets more value with his spin. Um, itemization would be like Morello early game. It could be hold CZ Rod. It could hold a lot of stuff. Vanguard and Van uh, Vanguard and Warlord. They're both really good. Lissandra both really good. Moonlight and Dazzler. I, it's probably it's, it's always a cop. Uh, but his her best items are probably gonna be like blue buff jeweled gauntlet or not jeweled like Rabadons, Morellos, all that stuff. Uh, Maokai again, it's the same thing. I would pick up both probably. Uh, Nami is one of those units that you can actually carry around. Uh, it's just tank items on Maokai, sorry. Uh, Nami is one of those uh, units that you can carry around. Uh, Enlightened or Mage, both doesn't matter. Again, I'm going to cover this in my tier list. But uh, Chosen Mage and Chosen Enlightened are both really uh, good. Uh, all Nami needs is Ludens, two, two Ludens uh, preferably. You can't literally play the comp without uh, Chosen because Chosen Nami has reduced mana. And when, as soon as you have double uh, Nami, double Ludens Nami, it's 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 busted. Uh, Nidalee is, is one of the stronger uh, backline chosens. It's pretty good early game. Tom Kench. Fortune Tom Kench is always a cop. Um, TF is always a cop. You can itemize him whatever. Um, Vayne is sometimes a cop. Sometimes you can actually reroll Dust Vayne, but it's not that consistent. Yasuo chosen is fine. It, it's um, it's going to be uh, duels reroll. So best of slot is probably going to be like IE. Uh, Bramble's fine. Declaw's even fine. GA's fine. Uh, QSS is fine. I think best in slot is IE, QSS, Titans, but GA is actually pretty good in an Ash Talon meta, um, so you'll have to see. But uh, Wukong, it's, you, you would cop both, but you never carry Wukong anymore because they changed uh, Divine. Any chosen mid game, you're always copying. Uh, probably tank items. Aphelios, you can, you can, yeah, you always, I mean, you always pick it up. It's just early game, right? These are, these are probably going to be units that you're playing early game. Um, Hecarim, you always buy tank items. Sometimes I'll skip Mystic Janna if I don't really have a team. Uh, but I think Enlightened Janna is so strong that you always pick up Enlightened Janna because Janna has reduced mana cost and then Enlightened makes it even further reduced. Uh, Jarvan is another one of those that are, is a little tricky. Um, so like the difference between Jarvan and Jax is Jax is actually tanky and like actually frontlines for your team. But Jarvan kind of just dips on your team and then not only that, but like splits his targeting and doesn't actually kill stuff. Um, so I actually am not a huge fan of Jarvan. Uh, Lulu, if you have any resemblance of a frontline, I would always cop. Uh, Pike, probably the strongest two cost chosen uh, both Cultist and uh, Sin are both really strong. Um, if you if you have the opportunity to go Ludens, Chosen Pike, you always do it. It is so strong. It just one-shots their whole team out of nowhere. Uh, Silas, you buy pretty much the two costs you, you are almost always buying. Oh, actually, Dust Thresh, you don't buy. Uh, Spirit, Teemo. Actually, Pike or Teemo are probably the two strongest. Uh, keep in mind that if you do have Chosen Teemo, it has reduced mana cost. And if you have like Sharpshooter Teemo, you can actually go ahead and look to go for Teemo 3. You would slow roll on 7 and go six sharpshooter with Teemo 3 carry. Um, that is really strong. Vi, you would buy. Zed, you can buy early game. It's just a free back line. But yeah, these are these are almost, you always buy mid game. Um, Macaulay, I, I rarely am ever put in a situation where I'm buying a three cost mid game. But if possible, the best one is going to be Kindred. I'm actually gonna skip on these because rarely ever are you in a scenario. Basically the game right now is you, you play your early chosen that you're going to find in early, early to mid stage two, and then you're gonna play it on four. And then on four, you're like rarely ever going to settle. On stage four, you're never going to settle for a three cost chosen. And you're almost always settling for the cost, uh, the four cost chosens. Um, the one exception is probably Kindred, um, where you can actually play this on uh, four one and then potentially sell it 
on 5-1 depending and then re-rolling depending on what your comp is so i'm not going to get too in depth for these especially because there's not that many carries oh zed zed is a carry that you can do best in slot is rsc qss runouts for sure when you're running ninja zed i think you just need rsc um qss is is really preferred especially since the depth is a meta um, and then Runans is also really good. Honestly, if you're playing Zed and you want to win the game, you need those three items. There's actually no other items that you can play. Um, Kindred, Blue Buff, Jeweled Gauntlet user, um, Locket user, Ice Cream Cone user, Zeke's user, probably the best three costs in the game. Uh, Katarina can use Gunblade, Titans, uh, QSS, can also use Rabadon's IE. It's the same It's the same thing with Diana. There's a lot of like, there's best in software Katarina, but there's you can just play like whatever. Um, and the other uh, units are whatever, like Nunu, you can do like HP items such as Sunfire, Redemption, uh, Bramble is good. Usually Lux is just hard stuck in the corner doing nothing. Vagar, you just need three tier items if you do want to play Vagar. I'm not going to put on the tier list because it's rarely ever do you go for Vagar. But you need blue buff in a tier item, which is going to be Hodge, Ludens, um, Ice Cream Cone, it doesn't really matter. And then the last item is probably Gumblade. Um, but anyway, getting onto the four costs, which are actually the more exciting ones. Um, Aatrox... I, I actually would skip an Aatrox chosen on 4-1, um, no matter what. It's it's not that it's just not that good. Um, Aatrox is one of those units that doesn't really use items that well and can't really contribute that much to a fight in in which it'll solo carry the fight. Um, Ari, I never buy. I I I personally think this unit is a piece of garbage. I've seen Ari top four before. Um, so it's not complete garbage, but the way I play the game, my play style is the items I slam are almost always going to be Dusk, Ash, or Talon, and I recommend you guys do the same. Um, I think those three comps are 20 times more consistent than this piece of garbage unit. But anyway, Ash, I get asked this question so many times on stream, what's best in slot Ash? And th there is no answer. I think, well, no, there is an answer. The best in slot is probably going to be like GA, Deathblade, Last Whisper. But when, when do you ever have like that many BSRs or like you're ever going to like items fall into place for you to get that? And the answer really is never. So like let's 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 be realistic and let's limit it to two BSRs. I would say it's like GA, GS, and whatever. It can be Last Whisper, it can be Ginsu, it can be Deathblade. Well, that's four BSRs, sorry. QSS is, is a replacement for GA as well, but hopefully you can have a ZZ Rot or maybe you can have a Locket or maybe you can have a Zir um, to cover it. You can even put Zeke's, uh, BT is fine. Uh, Ginsu is fine. I think I already said that. IE is fine. Even RC is okay. Shiv's okay. Runans is okay. Ha oh, Hodge is really good. Uh, GA Ginsu Hodge actually does really well, but it has to be chosen Ash because um, of the extra 30 AD if you're going to GA Ginsu Hodge. Otherwise, I think regular Ash doesn't have enough DPS to sustain. Uh, Cassiopeia, it's just frontline items. I think ZZ Rot, and you put him in one of the corners. I always put her either here or here, and it, it has like the biggest cone. Jin, it's kind of like Ash, except you can't really use. Actually, no, it's just Ash. Like, GA, it's, I think it's GA, IE, Last Whisper, probably. Um, GS is fine. Ginsu is fine. There's just so many items. There's no, not really a best in slot. Like, even Zeke is fine. Just BS Swords. Basically, Ash, Jin, Talon have really good AD scaling, so you just want the BS Sword items on them. Um, Morgana, the only item Morgana needs is Morello. Everything else is, is whatever. You can, you can give her some Ice Cream Cone. She's a pretty decent holder of Ice Cream Cone. Uh, she also holds, like, Blue Buff fine, even though her mana pool is so high. The initial cast is really nice. Uh, best in slot, Riven is probably Bramble, Declaw, plus Spark. I wouldn't recommend GA, but Blue Buff is okay. Ice Cream Cone is fine. Locket's fine. TG is fine. Riven can hold a lot of items. I wouldn't recommend, like, Warmogs, though, because that puts her over GS Crab Cap. Uh, Sejuani is the same. It's just all tank items is fine. I rarely ever would choose Sejuani Chosen just because of the opportunity of finding, like, a four-cost Chosen Riven, Morgana, Jin, Ash, Talon, stuff like that. Uh, Shen Adept is probably the best Chosen four cost that's not one of the carries um, also mystic shen is really good as well shen's best items are going to be like bramble declaw hopefully you can get some of those items from early game onto him uh talent best in slot i'm pretty sure it's it, it's up to discussion but because brawlers are out of meta i think gs is um, not as good as hodge but also it's gaie plus one for sure and i'm guessing it's hodge uh just because okay so when you roll healing on hodge i think bt is slightly better but when you roll damage on Hodge, which is 50% of the time, Talon just turns into the most broken unit in the game. It's just a straight up 8-0 wipe. It's not even close. Um, Warwick can hold uh, Shiv, but keep in mind, you probably want Locket and Zeke's. His best install is probably like GA Shiv. QSS maybe? Um, Runans is okay. Deathblade's okay. There is a Divine Comp. I think I talked about it. 
um, but it's it's not that consistent, so don't worry too much about it. Um, Azir can just doesn't really hold items. Um, you can give him some like random stuff, like whatever you think. If you have like left row stuff for Azir, I'm down. But a lot of times you use him for the soldiers. You can if you're lacking front line, you put him front line. A lot of times he's just a standalone. You don't actually go for warlord or keeper. Sometimes you can pair it with like Riven, but it, you don't actually care that much about keeper. Uh, sometimes you can box a backline unit. Just keep in mind that your front line has to be in these three boxes. Um, otherwise, if they're over here, sometimes uh, your Ash can't attack because they'll be their front line will be. Uh, if you put like a front line unit here, their front line will be attacking this, and your Ash is just trapped. And then sometimes you can just like spread out. Uh, but Azir is really strong. Um, Ezreal is, is probably going to be corner. Um, Ezreal actually recently got buffed in mana, so a lot of mana items. Just basically the Dazzler units, a faster cast is always good. So mana items are always good on Ezreal. He's also a really good Morello holder. So later into the game, take out Morgana and you can put Ezreal. Um, and then sometimes you can even run like Ezreal, Hecarim, Sejuani with Ash, and that's randomly three Elderwood. Uh, Kane, RC is really good. GA is good. Dustbat's good. Blue buff's good. Um, Ice Cream Clan's good. Jeweled Goblin's good. Rabadon's good. Lee Sin, tank items are good. And also blue buff is really good. Lilia, you really like really never itemize Lilia. She is, she is strong in uh, Dust though. Set is another like uh, Titans holder. It could be Elderwood spat holder. Um, it holds the spat items really well. It's just solo frontline. Yone can use blue buff the best uh ga tank items can use almost every item in the game i, I wouldn't really put ap on him because yoni usually kills whoever he marks anyway and then zillion does really well with just hella uh mana items so hopefully um this guide was somewhat helpful again i'm going to come out like I, i'm going to go more in depth in my tier list uh with items but that'll come out uh shortly um thank you guys for watching <laughs>